Hi, my name is Jana Kamplová. I'm an educator and consultant in the human resources, development of organization and people in them. Gender diversity, equal opportunities and soft skills. In this video, we will address the topic of the labor market and its development, change and diversity. What does it mean? How can you apply directly to your organization? You can apply directly as employees, even as applicants for a job in a company that declares diversity. Society and labor market and their development. The labor market is a place where supply meets demand. It may seem that the labor market is a neutral place where the best offer wins and where the best inquiry wins. However, the labor market is influenced by a number of inequalities that we are often not even aware of. We talk about the so-called discrimination. What does that mean? We can discriminate consciously or unconsciously. And if we talk about the unconscious discrimination, we talk about discrimination on grounds of age, gender, religion, nationality, different sexual orientation or different opinions in general. The labor market has changed dramatically and we need to respond to it. We've got global changes, we've got a population migration and there are a big demographic fluctuations. Europe in general has been aging. It seems that companies don't know how to capture this trend and how to work with people individually. There's been a lot of pressure in terms of work-life balance, reconciling work and family. People are realizing that although work is an important part of their life, it is not the only one. The organization have been under pressure so they can create such working conditions to harmonize these two parts, the satisfaction of employees and their economic and social profit. Prejudice and stereotypes, what they are and what they cause. When I talk about discrimination and why we actually discriminate, it must be said it is not a conscious thing, because obviously the European Union has applied legislation that directly outlaws any discrimination in the labor market. The discrimination takes place at the level of stereotypes. Every person, every organization is growing up in a society that is guided by traditions. Stereotypes remain in us for tens and hundreds of years, and we perceive them as something natural, often without even thinking about them. You can ask yourself a question. How do you perceive a person who is, for example, at the age over 50? How do you see his or her position in the labor market? How do you perceive them as your potential employee? How do people feel about themselves? The question number one is for everyone. How to eliminate your internal stereotypes? how to identify them and how to actively work with them. Diversity, introduction, why it is important and how do we apply it? Diversity is awareness of each person's quality. Diversity is the acceptance of varieties and using it for the benefit of the individuals, teams and entire organizations. It is based on the idea that we are all different, but each of us brings our own unique experience, knowledge, education, and it is necessary to work with them in a cultivated way. This means that a clever organization is an organization that teaches how to harmonize diversity and learns to use it. And such a company does not use stereotypes. On the contrary, it learns to actively work with each individual and engage them in a meaningful team. When we talk about how to work with all groups of people, the company decides to implement a diversity program. What does it mean? The company ceases to perceive the team in that way that the best team is a team of homogeneous individuals and starts to perceive the people in the organization for originals they really are or eventually what kind of people they need to complement its experience. First of all, the company must decide, yes, it is a decision, yes, we will work within diverse team, we will use a variety of strategies. It is about the creation of an individual concept, because no company is the same, that is, we cannot apply a universal diversity approach in each sector, in every size of individual organization, we must create a goal. What specifically will diversity mean for us? Is it about improving communication? Is it about mixing teams from the view of various ages, various experiences, different education? 
Does it also include diversity of our products? What does the word diversity mean for us? These goals must be measurable. And what steps will be applied? The best way is to appoint a person who will coordinate all the processes and of course we make fundamental analysis. In what environment does a particular company or you as employee exist? What can you specifically do? There is a big political and cultural pressure on diversity. There are the economic benefits of diversity and what are they? Increasing creativity, motivation, building the corporate culture. Corporate culture, how create a motivating and inspiring corporate culture? The corporate culture is a kind of soul and ethos of the company and the organization both in official processes and documentations. On the other hand, it's a kind of a hidden culture that flows among people. The culture of diversity means that each person knows exactly and certainly that their individual talents will be supported. They know their place in the organization and know they can express their opinions through boxes of confidence because they can influence events in the organization. Because of feedback that take place between superiors and subordinates, that their opinion will be respected. Likewise, the organization understands that a person is a complex of several components and it is necessary to individually focus on them and to evolve them. Why apply a corporate culture of diversity? Diversity is a new trend how to work with the whole organization, but it is also a trend in terms of marketing and PR. For instance, because adopting diversity styles of working with people and working with the entire organization means adapting the issue of the corporate social responsibility, which is currently very accentuated not only by employees, not only by organizations, not only in terms of public policies, but especially by clients who tend to do more than just buy goods, products and services. Adapting to diversity promotion means to ask who made the product, for the footprint they left behind and how socially responsible and beneficial they have been. That means it is an added value that the company provides to its customers together with the service. 10 important points to remember. Labor market is unequal. Throughout the European Union, there are groups at risk on the labor market, which are struggling with various obstacles. Labor market is burdened with prejudice and stereotypes that hammer equal opportunities already upon entering the labor market. Stereotype is monotonous, deep-rooted, habitual pattern of behavior and thinking. Prejudice is an individual experience. Very often it is mistaken, skewed and influenced by customer stereotype. Fundamental labor market discriminations include those by reason of age, because of gender, due to parenthood, because of the health condition. Equal opportunities in labor market are based on general conditions and individual approach where we can change the general conditions and stereotypes. Equal opportunities are a pillar for building a healthy corporate culture, healthy communication, maximum use of competencies, skills for all employees. Diversity audit is perfect for mapping the state of equal opportunities. Diversity perceives differences between individuals positively. No generalizing, no judging. The diversity is perceived as an advantage. Within the context of equal opportunities, diversity and the labor market, we must actively perceive new trends in demographic development, people's behavior and their preferences.